Hey everybody, so it's Monday night. I don't even know what time it is, but probably around 6.30. This is the book. If you're going to buy a book, this has six and a half pages in the back that is a carb counter, a carb guide. Even I can read six and a half pages. That's probably why I like this book, okay? The rest of the book, the first inch of the book, you can basically throw it away. However, there are some really, there is a lot of information in this book if you read it. I've read it, <clears throat> not recently, but I read it before, studied it, and learned a lot of the value in this book. In the back, hi Aaron, in the back of this book, Aaron, is a carb counter, which gives you an idea very easily in six and a half pages as to what foods contain how many carbs. So, which is my point tonight is how many carbs have you had today? I know exactly how many I've had today. I've had 96. I know exactly what I ate today. I know exactly how many carbs I took in and I know exactly which carbs I left out and how I cut down. Um, it's so easy to get off in the winter and um, eat things that we don't really want to eat. <laughs> we want to eat them. But if we want to stay on our program and lose weight and maintain our weight, then we don't want to eat those things that we want to eat. So that gets us to the two hardest parts of the day. The one hardest part of the day is when you're awake. <laughs> Anytime you're awake, it's difficult. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Remember that. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Right? So... When you're awake, that's one of the hardest times. The other, t <laughs> the other two hard times are when you're at work, scrounging around, nervous, energy, whatever. You want a break and you walk into the lunchroom and you see donuts and you see cake and you see bagels and you see all this stuff. And you have to make choices. And then the second time that's hard in the day is at night when you're home. Again, nervous energy, you don't really want to do anything. You don't want to, you're tired from working. You just want to st you walk in the door and stick something in your mouth which is probably the worst thing you can do is like buying groceries when you're hungry. So when you look at the Atkins book and the carb section, the back page 385, you'll find that a bagel is one of the worst breads. I've been saying this before. Um, bagel is 30 grams of carbohydrate. One bagel is 30 grams. That's like eating three slices of bread. You're eating three slices of bread depending on the type of bread, but you're eating about three slices of bread for every bagel. So think about that. The next time your office has bagels and you want six of them, two of them, or your spouse decides to stick them in the toaster at night and have a plate of bagels. Not a good idea. Have a piece of chocolate cake, skip the bagel, and enjoy yourself. So you need to know if you're not familiar with how, if you don't know right now how many carbs you've had today, you need to stop and start to find the six and a half pages of carb guides. I guess I will, if somebody's interested in them, comment below and I will copy them and send them to you. Very, very simple. They're six and a half pages. And um, so it's like three or four photos. But you need to know what your carbs are. You love bagels, yeah. I love bagels too, especially when they're warm out of the toaster and you put butter on them. There's nothing wrong with butter, but the bagel, eat the butter and throw the bagel away. The bagel is 30, so it's basically almost three slices of bread. That's why it's so heavy and dense. So um, corn muffins, 20, pancake mix, one ounce of mix is 20, waffles, 28, rice. One cup of cooked rice is 50 carbs, grams of carbs, 50 in a little cup of rice. So this is when you're trying to lose. The one thing you want to start doing is throwing that pizza away. Eat the toppings off the pizza, throw the bread away. Skip the rice. Popcorn isn't bad. One cup of popped popcorn is five. So, you know, no one eats a cup of popcorn. They eat a big bowl of it. <laughs> you're better off to eat a bowl of popcorn than you are to eat two two or three bagels. 
Um, so that's the advantage to this book is it gives you a quick, easy guide that almost anybody can read and comprehend and uh, you don't have to know too much about it. What's tricky is when it talks about ounces of meat or ounces of cheese, you can basically eat any cheese you want and as almost as much as you want because if you eat 10 or 20 cubes of cheese, little one inch cubes, that's 10 or 20 grams of carbohydrates, that's it. So um, as opposed to one little Oreo cookie that is a graham cracker with chocolate and peanut butter flavor that tastes really good, you're eating 13 grams per cookie. So that's like a slice, that little cookie is the equivalent to one slice of bread. So a bagel is equivalent to three slices of bread. A little Oreo cookie is equivalent to one slice of bread. So, you you know, this is how you have to think. You have to think, what am I eating? If, a, if, a, if I can only have six slices of bread in a day, if I should only eat six slices of bread in a day as my carb guide, then what are these trade-offs? I give up three of those, half of those slices of bread for one bagel? No, that's not a good choice for me. Um, I give up four slices of bread for one little cup of rice? you got to be kidding me. I'll take the bread. I'll take those four slices of bread over that one cup of rice. And that's right, it's cooked. Cooked rice is 50, 50 grams of carbohydrates. So this is the book, if you're going to buy a book, this is the book to get because you will learn a lot. Uh, and when somebody says to you, why are you reading Atkins? He's dead. His diet's no good. He's dead. You know, he died because he died. He slipped on the ice and whacked his head and died from a blood clot. So, or blood uh, bleed. A anyway, so he didn't die from his diet. He's a very smart guy. Um, a lot of information in this book, and there are some recipes in this too. But this is a good book to read. The problem with the book is it uses that four-letter word that I say never use, and he talks. He keeps talking about. That, that four letter word. That four letter word is dangerous. It's, it, it's uh, not what you should be thinking. You should be thinking you're changing your lifestyle. You should be thinking that this is the lifestyle I want to have. I want to be able to eat whatever I want. I be, want to be able to understand what I'm eating and make better choices. Because when we were put on the planet, we didn't have this weight problem. Chances are, chances are we kind of grew into it because of the habits that we learned, the habits that other people had, and we picked those up. So the fact is, you can eat almost you can eat anything in moderation, and not be overweight. That's what I found, and that's why I made my program the way I did. I just went back to and thought through it. What did I do? So three years ago, when I came back to the United States, I sat down. I had a little extra time at the t at that point in time, and so I sat down and I said, "What did I do to lose the weight?" If I had to summarize this, what did I do? That's when I started to do the Naked Tips by Ty in the morning on Facebook. And one of the reasons I did that was to document what did, what I did so that I could, if I wanted to, write a book. Or if I wanted to have a seminar, I could. Um, and so I have, you know, that, I, that that's how I narrowed this program down to www-ssc. Walk, water, weigh yourself every day. Regardless of what that weight is, you have to weigh yourself so you know where you are. I've gained weight just doing these videos, just in this time that I started doing these videos, I've gained weight because it's winter and because I made some other choices. But in winter, we start to want to put some weight on to insulate our bodies. It's not really a good insulator, but that's what we do. And, um, you know, it's fun to eat a big bowl of cereal at night before I go to bed. It's fun to eat two of them, and I do that. And now I'm taking the weight back off. So, um, and I felt it today when uh, moving around. I, you know, it's there's no exercise like physical work. That's the best exercise. And um, forget the gym, but uh, crawling around, getting up and down. And that's when you notice. Oh, I'm a little bit fatter and not in as good a shape as I was in June or July last year. So that's what I have to say. Know how many car carbohydrates you've had today already. If you don't sit down and take the time to figure it out, it's worth the 10 or 15 minutes. It doesn't take long. Uh, if you want a copy of this carb guide, six and a half pages, 
message me below. I will send it to you in Messenger. And what's the other thing? I don't know. Trump, he's the guy. All right. Have a great day. Hope it helps.